Welcome back to Indie Now. You guys know who I am already. I'm meteorologist Beth Canello. I'm back this week to talk about my fall foliage series. Let's talk about peak fall foliage. Let me remind you that peak fall foliage isn't for another couple of weeks. So are we behind in our fall colors? It's been so warm. We've been in the 80s. It's been wet. We've had over three inches of rain in the last couple of weeks. No, we're not terribly behind from where we should be for this time of year. Check this out. That was IMS. I got a couple of pictures out there. There are yellows. There are reds. There are oranges out there. We are seeing those fall colors, but you'll notice there are still a lot of greens and that's okay. Has the temperatures and the wet conditions impacted us? Yes, very slightly. Are we behind? No, not necessarily. We should still be in that patchy range across central Indiana. Areas in northern Indiana, they are seeing just a little bit more in terms of those colors. So now let's talk about some safety because yes, it has been so wet. Wet leaves, they can be, sil they can be slippery. But how does that impact driving? Well, on a dry road, it takes less time, obviously, to stop. It usually takes about 80 feet to come to a complete stop. Wet roads usually takes about 160 feet to come to a complete stop. On wet leaves, it can take up to 250 feet to come to a complete stop. So when there are wet leaves on the ground, you do want to make sure you have extra space between you and the car in front of you. How do wet leaves impact raking? I know a lot of people are starting to do some yard work. Well, on an average maple oak, mature maple oak tree, there are 200,000 leaves average on that tree. So about 360 dry leaves tend to be about one pound usually. So on one tree, dry leaves are about 550 pounds total. Well, when you add moisture to that, you can multiply that weight by four. So it's very important that when you are raking leaves, especially if they're wet, you want to make sure that you're just being careful because it can be a lot heavier. So let's look about how we're doing in terms of those fall colors. Remember last week, all of those leaves were green. We're starting to see some yellows now. Indianapolis, Kokomo, even, La I'm going to say this wrong, Lafayette, they are those yellow. We're seeing those patches out there. Bloomington, however, you're still in that green range. We're not seeing as many colors changing, especially down in southern Indiana. So what I do need is still your fall pictures. Please send me those fall pictures. I can't travel across all of Indiana. I need those pictures out there for you. Please send those my way to bfinello at fox59.com. I'll, of course, be back next week. I'll give you another update on how we're looking across central Indiana. For now, I think I'm, I was going to say, I'm going to try and maybe send it back to Ryan before I let you go. If you see any fall pictures, be sure that, of course, you're staying safe and you're sending them my way. If you're heading out and driving around, that's what I did yesterday. I drove around, I parked, I grabbed all of those pictures. For now, though, I'm going to send